Okay, so let's uh, recopy the layer, Command or Control J, and go up to Filter, Blur. We're going to go to Lens Blur because here we can uh, make a choice as to what you'd like to have happen that's much more photographic than the uh, Gaussian Blur was. Um, very simply, you want to spend some time in here playing around. Um, but I'm looking to have this at like a, maybe a F2.8 or something like that. So I really want a, a good blur in the background and the foreground. And changing these different settings will give you slightly different looks. And you'll experiment with those, but that's about where I'm going to end up now. And I'm going to say okie doke. So now we have a blur layer and a non-blur layer. Um, what I'd like to do is add a layer mask, and I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key after hitting the D for default to get the default uh, foreground and background colors because I want black to be um, filling the layer mask as soon as I put it on. So hold down the Option or Alt key, click on the layer mask, and the mask is filled. So we can see everything underneath. It's totally blacked out what's happening on this layer. Now we're going to let parts of that come back through by hitting the X key for exchange or with the paintbrush. I'm going to get in there and zoom in just a little bit. So if I want to really make my uh, couple stand out, I'm going to oh, paint with 50% opacity on the paintbrush with white on the black mask. And again, get to the right tool. That was the, let's move over to the paintbrush tool, get that to 50% opacity, and just kind of paint in there. Don't get too close to your subject because it'll ghost a little bit on you. And you want to make sure that you don't hit things that are on a different plane. For example, we just hit over that little brush there using the left bracket key, making the tool a little smaller. I want to paint that back. and need to uh, go to the X key, make zero. So there we go. We'll get, get that back in there. Back to the X. Right bracket key makes things a little bit bigger. So again, we're softening things that are in the background. And I'm going to undo that because I'm getting too much there because I was at 100%. I'm going to go back down to 50% by hitting the 5 key. There we go. That's better. It's kind of nice and easy. Everything that's behind there. And you could paint with less or more, depending. And I'm going to hold down the space bar, shift around a little bit, see what's going on. Paint a little bit in there. the rest of our neighborhood. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit. Now, with depth of field, we're going to have things that are more out of focus in the back and the front, so don't forget to do that part and anything that's in the foreground, like um, this plant here and some of this tree, or some of the uh, sidewalk there. So what we can do is, again, make a larger brush, hitting the right bracket key, I'm going to change the opacity to oh, 30% because I want to do this very gradually so it's more toward the front but moving in toward it. So just take a nice little swipe right there, a little bit there, and again a little bit there. Then go ahead and hit plants. I'm going to uh, make the brush a little bit smaller, left bracket key, and just kind of soften this stuff up in the foreground here. Smaller brush, you don't want to get this wall behind done, but just paint that in there. Get everything that's on that plane of focus. Zoom out just a little bit. And let's go ahead and turn it on and off so we can see the difference. Let's make it a little bit larger. And you can see that our bride and groom comes much further forward in the image than it was before.